The groom whose bride was killed by a drunk driver on their wedding night, Eric Hutchinson, is speaking for the first time about the tragedy and his fight for justice. Eva Pilgrim is here with the exclusive interview. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, George. Eric Hutchinson says he and his wife, Sam, were excited to get married, already planning to start trying to have kids and buy a home. Instead, now he's planning her funeral. Sam just got that glow. The grief still raw for Eric Hutchinson. She's the type that walks in a room and... You know Sorry. <laughs> now speaking exclusively to ABC News in his first interview since losing his wife, Sam. The unimaginable tragedy on their wedding night three weeks ago. An allegedly drunk driver crashing into them as they left their reception. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Um, that night going from an all-time high to an all-time low. It's pretty rough to try to comprehend the night of the wedding what are your favorite parts of it having family we had family friends from all over the country everywhere there and everyone was just so happy she was so happy one of the best nights of your life it was it was the newlyweds set off by their guests through a wave of sparklers jumping in a golf cart with family but they never made it home. Do you remember the crash happening at all? I don't. I wish I did. The... I do remember the last thing I remember her saying was she wanted the night to never end. That was the last thing she said to you? Just down the road from their reception, their golf cart hit by a car. Hutchinson, his brother-in-law, Benjamin, and nephew Brogan were rushed to the hospital. Sam died at the scene. I remember waking up just kind of foggy, out of sorts, and I could see my mom's face, and you could just tell something was wrong. And I asked her, where's Sam, where's Sam? And then that's when she told me it was an incident and that Sam didn't make it. Investigators say the driver of the vehicle, 25-year-old Jamie Lee Komorowski, was driving 65 miles per hour in a 25 zone at the time of the crash. According to the toxicology report, her blood alcohol level was more than three times the legal limit. She's been charged with DUI and reckless homicide. Is there anything you'd say to the driver? No, I can't right now. She stole something. She just, uh, she's still an amazing human being that should not have been taken. On Wednesday, Hutchinson filing a wrongful death lawsuit against Komorowski and several local bars and restaurants where she allegedly drank the night of the crash. Her employer and supervisor also sued, accused of pressuring her to attend a function and consume excessive amounts of alcoholic beverages that night. Her employer saying in a statement, there was no officially organized employee function around drinking and Komorowski had just started training for the job. This is a case about protecting communities from drunk driving. And when someone is served in excess and then allowed to leave and get in the car um, is not responsible. And uh, they'll have to be accountable for that. For now, Hutchinson is taking it day by day, focusing in part on his recovery while trying to hold on to his happy memories with Sam and the things that remind him of her. Back home in the third floor apartment the two shared, he says he still feels her presence. Is it hard to be back here? It's hard, but it's also nice. Like you can just, it's got Sam written all over the house. So it's nice to be here and have good memories. And Eric has two broken legs, broken bones in his face and back, among other injuries. He's had multiple surgeries already, but he told me he agreed to do this interview because he wanted the world to know the Sam that he fell in love with.
And we are getting to know her through his words and just that heartache. We're thinking about all of yeah. them. Eva Pilgrim, thank you so much.